this weekend is looking to be very cold with highs in the mid to lower teens. I have more on that later with your 7-day forecast. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Spartan News. Today is a day three, and we have some very important news for you today. But first, let's take it to news with Olivia. Yesterday, the Biden administration acknowledged at the first coronavirus briefing that most Americans will have to wait months to get vaccinated. The briefing was mainly about the promises and points Biden and his team has made, have made leading to the inauguration and since then. President Biden has made an announcement the day before that the government was working on purchasing 100 million additional vaccines by this summer for emergency use. The White House is also directing the Department of Health and Human Services to use the Public Readiness and Emergency Preparedness Act to shield healthcare workers from most legal liability to get more vaccinators in the field. Since the start of January, GameStop stock has sur surged over 1,700% due to the efforts of a band of mostly young day traders from the Reddit page, Wall Street Bets, who work together to drive up the shares, share price of struggling companies. Their goals, which included making their own money, also include fighting against short sellers and hedge funds, who are the Wall Street elites who've placed bets that a company stock will crash and have become the enemy of many for creating the house of cards system that led to the financial crisis of 2008. Many of the people involved have earned themselves thousands, with one Redditor saying he was able to put that money towards his student loans. The group also tur turned to stocks for AMC, BlackBerry, and Macy's, creating a bubble to fuel the surge even further. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So, if uh, you are a, a big soccer fan, there's a lot of news going on in the English Premier League. So, first of all, yesterday, uh, if you're a supporter of Manchester United, I'm very, very sorry for you. Sadly, you guys took a big loss after being first in the Premier League for, you know, a couple weeks now to Sheffield United, who is probably going to get relegated this year, 2-1. to one. Uh, it was very hard to watch. What a shame. I feel bad for all you United supporters. I hope you'll, hope you'll be able to bounce back midweek to next week, next week and, you know, get back, climb back to the top of the table. And uh, today, actually, there's a huge game. Tottenham Hotspurs, which a team I support, versus uh, the Liverpool Reds. Big game for the title race. Uh, Tottenham's in sixth. Liverpool's in uh, fifth. And they were just in first, so... It's a big, big week in the soccer world and upcoming weekend. So with that, let's take it to weather. Today we will have a high of 20 with some lake flurries. This weekend is going to have freezing temperatures with lake snow showers and cloudy skies. Monday and Tuesday will have highs of 30 with possible snow showers. Wednesday will drop down to 28 with some light flurries. I'm Gabby with your weather. Some more news actually, uh, the Chelsea Blues about two days ago, they fired their head coach Frank Lampard, who is a club legend. He's played there almost his whole career and uh, they uh, hired the head coach of Paris Saint-Germain, PSG, Thomas Tuchel, looking to turn their year around as over the summer they spent, I want to say, $200 million in buying seven new players for their squad. Uh, it hasn't really made a difference, hasn't really made an impact for their team, you know, but that's how kind of all, when you gather a lot of good players, it may take a while for them to, you know, start and get it going, but they're, they're hoping to turn their season around with Thomas Tuchel, 
uh, get them back into Champions League or at least the Europa League position to play in next year, considering they're in uh, eighth place right now, or I want to say ninth place. So with that, we're going to take it with more sports with Daniel. On February 1st, all high-risk winter sports will be able to resume practices and games. If you would like to play winter sport, make sure to sign up on Family ID. Last night in the NBA, the Philadelphia 76ers beat the Los Angeles Lakers 107-106. to Tob Tobias Harris's late-game mid-range shot gave the 76ers the win. The 76ers were led by Joel Embiid, who had 28 points in the win, and for the Lakers, LeBron James had 34 points in the loss. Last night in the NFL, the Houston Texans and former Ravens assistant David Culley have agreed on turns to make Culley the new head coach of the Texans. And I'm Tanner with your sports. And please do not worry, you know, later in, hopefully in the year, I'll be doing a show explaining, talking about what I had previously said. So uh, with that, from everybody here at the morning show, please have a great Thursday.